Welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about star signs. So I thought I'd make a video on how our star signs might affect our personality. I also want to talk about how certain star signs are compatible with other star signs and other people. I'm a huge believer of star signs and I think they tell a lot about a person. The first star sign I want to talk about today is Scorpio. The reason for that is I think they're the best star sign in the world because I'm a Scorpio myself. I'd say Scorpio is probably the most misunderstood of all the star signs out there. Scorpios are all about intensity and mystery. We like to be aware of our situation and we do want that sense of control over everything. Scorpios are very emotional, if not one of the most emotional star signs out there. I truly think that we feel pain unlike any other star sign. That's where intensity comes out of a Scorpio. Um, it could be good or really bad intensity. Now when that good intensity comes out, we can be very ambitious, very driven, uh, very dedicated to a task. Um, and that's when that passion really comes out. And then on the other hand, there's the negative intensity. That's when the feelings of jealousy come out, envy, holding grudges against people, not wanting others to do well sometimes. And I'm, I'm the first to admit that. Uh, sometimes we want what other people have. Jealousy is a huge thing about Scorpius. It's probably our biggest flaw. We're constantly exploring how we feel. We're, we're trying, we try very hard to be self-aware. A huge thing for Scorpios is a fear of failure. We hide this really well, but underneath, we have that fear of that rejection or fear of not being good enough. And that's where the mystery side comes out of a Scorpio. They don't want to show their full self sometimes. They don't want to share too much about themselves. They're reluctant to share things because they're afraid of, of being seen as weak or someone taking advantage of their insecurity or that vulnerability. So it can be fairly hard for us to open up initially. It takes a bit of time, a bit of trust for a Scorpio to truly reveal um, their, their true self. Scorpios may appear to be very cool and collected at times and, and very confident, but underneath that, there can be that sense of insecurity. Scorpios also have really powerful instincts and very good intuition. They always go with their gut and they always go with their emotions. So Scorpio in a nutshell. Scorpios are overall very deep and intense people and they're more than meets the eyes. They tend to ask other people a lot of questions about themselves and kind of focus on, on their personality and, and their life rather than ourselves. It's, that's just another way that we have control. Uh, we, we try to get into other people's minds sometimes and, and try to understand their feelings and, and understand a bit more about what ticks them off. And that's just another way Scorpios deflect that attention from themselves to someone else. Scorpios really like to have deep conversations, so they want to know why you might be thinking a certain thought. We want to really get into those really deep, intense chats with people. Um, which can be a bit overwhelming. Scorpio is extremely loyal in terms of their friendships and relationships and anyone that is considered a friend to them, they are extremely kind to, very loyal to them and they'll always have their backs. Biggest pet hate for a Scorpio would be fakeness. The reason why Scorpios hate someone that's fake is because Scorpios are so brutally honest, uh, very direct about how they feel. Um, they want a real conversation, so they don't want someone having a conversation that's really fake and someone that's not really interested in them, but they're having a conversation with them for the sake of it. A Scorpio really wants to have a deep, meaningful conversation. Don't criticize them too much. We hate criticism. As I said, there's always that fear of rejection sometimes, and Scorpios do take that very personally sometimes. And with that being said, Scorpios keep grudges. They love taking revenge on, on people that do them wrong. Scorpios can appear very flirty, very charming at times, but don't be fooled by that charm. Inside, Scorpios are, are pretty lonely people, and they want that companionship, whether that be a friendship or a relationship. Uh, they do want someone there. So let's talk about Scorpio's strengths. Very loyal, very passionate, they are never fake, they're really real about themselves. Very observant and they've got great intuition. And on the other hand we have their weaknesses. So they can be very jealous, they can be very possessive, very manipulative and very headstrong. In a twisted way they try to show that they care about the person or they really like the person. Although this can be seen in a very different way, it can be seen very controlling and domineering. So Scorpios really need to work on their control, that possessiveness, that envy, that manipulation. 
um, and make sure that they're really kind of counteracting that with something more positive. Scorpios can be really fierce competitors. They really want to win everything. They want to be the best at everything. In terms of compatibility, Scorpios have a amazing compatibility with Cancerians, Pisces, Capricorns, uh, and Virgos. Ones that wouldn't be so good with a Scorpio would be uh, a Libran or an Aquarius. The Scorpios are very emotional, so they need that emotional connection with someone. And some star signs that aren't necessarily emotional um, in their traits, so they don't really show that emotion too much. They don't really focus on that. And I'll get into that a bit more in my next videos on the 11 other star signs that I'm going to talk about. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any comments, please comment below. If you're a Scorpio yourself or you're someone that knows a Scorpio, let me know what you think. See you next time.